It's been eight years since 9-11. On that morning, Ryan Crocker, a deputy assistant secretary of state at the time, was on his way from Washington to appointments at the United Nations to talk about Iraq. I was on the 8 a.m. U.S. Air Shuttle, and uh, that had us over uh, New York, making our descent to LaGuardia, uh, just as the first tower was hit. Just a few minutes ago, we're told that a plane, some reports are that it was a small commuter plane. The second tower was hit just as we landed. It left, shall we say, an indelible impact on me. I took the boarding pass from that flight uh, and put it in a little frame, and that's been with me everywhere I've been uh, since. What I couldn't predict, of course, uh, that uh, day of 9-11 is that uh, just a few months later I would actually be in Afghanistan. Crocker has always taken the tough assignments. He was in Beirut during the worst of the 1980s, but it's really since 9-11 that he's been the point man at the American embassies on the front lines of the fight against terrorism. That started in Kabul in the first week of 2002. When the deputy secretary, he said, uh, would I be prepared to go to Kabul and reopen the embassy? Uh, I said, uh, happy to do it. When? He said, about the day after tomorrow. All of Afghanistan was, uh, was devastated. Uh, it wasn't so much a result of uh, our military action, uh, so much as it was the product of basically three decades of conflict. Whole city blocks were annihilated. I remember thinking at the very beginning that, oh my goodness, uh, we've got quite a job in front of us. Nobody in diplomacy has had as much first-hand experience with terrorism as Crocker and his wife Christine, also a State Department employee. She's been with him on every assignment since 1979, and she was sitting only a few feet from him when the American embassy in Lebanon was blown up in 1983, killing more than 60 people, including 17 Americans. Uh, the war on terror didn't start for us on 9-11. It, it, it started uh, 18 years earlier. We learned to see terror as a tactic. It's a way, however reprehensible, of achieving goals. So I've learned to be dispassionate about it to a certain degree. I think you, you have to be dispassionate if you're going to understand um, where it comes from, where it's likely to come from next, and, and how you counter it. Crocker remembers the role that Saddam Hussein played in terrorism all through the 1980s and 90s, and he understood why the Bush administration saw Saddam as a major problem. The focus on Iraq was uh, there very early in the administration, but it wasn't laid out as we we're going to have to bring down the regime. Uh, it was more of uh, Iraq is a challenge and a threat. Uh, it cannot be allowed to continue on its current trajectory. But Crocker worried from the beginning about the consequences of America pushing ahead for the occupation of Iraq. By the time he was appointed ambassador there in 2007, the country was on the verge of disintegration. He and General David Petraeus are widely credited with having pulled it back from the brink. The, the reality is it is hard in Iraq, and there are no light switches to throw that are going to uh, go dark to light. In all of this, the fact that he knew so many people so well in the Middle East, that he literally spoke their language, and that they knew he understood their history so well, all of that was vital to what he was able to accomplish. In diplomacy, personal relationships are key. Uh, it, these aren't computer games. Um, these are discussions um, between and among people. So how personalities react uh, to each other um, really is important in getting a nation's work uh, done. It's a tough region. They need to know you. They need to look you in the eye. They need to get a feel for you. So on, on one hand, uh, relationships develop more slowly than we expect in the, in the States. But on the other hand, they are far more important to doing business successfully. Um, I think than they often are here, where we're able to deal with positions rather than people, uh, outcomes rather than individuals.